going on everybody? Today I'm going to show you how to uh, assemble and disassemble, disassemble your Mossberg. Uh, these two particular models here, one of them is mine and one of them is not. This model here is the Mossberg 520 gauge youth. This is the one I'm going to show you how to take it apart because it's real easy to work with. Um, and uh, it's a lot easier for me to make the video on the, that one. That would be uh, this one. This particular model is mine. This is the Mossberg 520 gauge. I won't go any, any into specific with, specifics with you, considering I am getting some new, more parts for it. I am getting a rail for the top, and I also have a red dot ready to go on it as well. So I won't go into any specs on that one. That is better for a later video. Okay, let's get to this disassembly. Number one thing I will safety check it for you. There's nothing in chamber I already safety checked it. Nothing in the mag tube. And I get it to get pumped to uh, show you that there is nothing in there. Number one thing we're gonna do is uh, I keep this where I can or my brother can uh, loosen it by hand. Some of them I like to keep my my twelve gauge tightened with a uh, vice grips and all you have to do is clamp them on there and give them one good turn and they're good but uh, all you do is loosen this make sure you are at half cock meaning your bolt is halfway the halfway cocked back and unscrew this and your whole barrel assembly will come off Let me get this one loose a little bit more your whole barrel comes off here's your barrel and uh, that will come out sometimes, so keep it um, under wraps. Set that to side. And I also like to keep my parts in a tray, so I'm going to set this up here. for, uh, And then I'll show you the parts tray, how, how little amount of parts there is actually in the shotgun. Um, next, you're going to slide this forward. Or, I'm sorry, keep it half. I'm getting ahead of myself. And you're going to get your pin punch. Knock out the pin that holds in the uh, trigger group. Knock that pin out. Pull it out. Put it in your parts bin. Done with all the tools you need. That's it. Now you're going to pull out your trigger group. That just comes out like that. Don't. Just don't mess around with it and pull the trigger because that just makes it even more of a pain in the butt for you to end up putting it back together. Um, and also you can see here these two cutout slots where the uh, fire selector or the, uh, I'm sorry, trigger group goes. That actually assists in you taking that piece. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what that piece is called, but I do know it sits on top of the bolt. And the um, pump notches go on this, makes the whole unit slide. So it wouldn't be in here if it wasn't important. So apparently it is very important. Don't know the exact name of it, but I know what's important. So uh, that's the next thing you're going to remove. Or I'm sorry, not the next thing you remove, but next to after thing. Which the next thing, you're, two things you're going to remove are the two. Um, you can see one there, one there. They are the shell stop and the uh, shell, the other shell stop. The, the other one has a particular name, but they're both... Uh, assist in getting the shells in the right place for the uh, shell thing to pick up the shell and put it into the chamber. But these are the two pieces that come out of the side. One will have a notch and it will go in that hole right there. So that's how you know which side they go on. Put those in your parts bin. Now you're going to want to slide this back to where this piece can be fit in between these pieces here. That's how you get it out. This part here, and it's actually, uh, let's see here, right there. Then you're just going to reach in, pop that up, pull that out. There's that piece. Then you can slide your whole pump action off. There's your pump. Set that aside. Last thing to get out, raise your shell lift, and your bolt will come out. And that is the Mossberg 500 fully disassembled. 
uh, to go even farther farther to take the stock off I won't do it but actually with the wooden stocks you've got two screws take those screws with two off take those two screws out this will pop off there will be a screw that runs all the way down the stock all the way down the stock up to here and uh, or a bolt and you'll loosen that bolt and the uh, whole stock will come off um, and that's really it there's I'm sure that there is a way to take this piece out there is really no reason to take this piece out um, if you have to clean it you can reach down there and clean it uh, it raises up enough where you can clean it there's really no reason to take that out so we'll go ahead and put all this back together get your bolt lift your shell catch slide your bolt back in place here slide your bolt back in place drop your just drop your slide back slide piece back uh, shell I'm going to call it shell elevator <laughs> I'm going to call it shell elevator this is a shell elevator because it raises down what happens is when the shell when you pull your pump back it lifts up to this position your uh, shell catch releases the shell to let it fall into this thing here when you push it forward this drops down pushing the shell up to the chamber and when you follow through with the slide lock pushes the shell into the chamber and locks in and you're ready to fire so this is what pulls the shell out up from the magazine tube into the chamber next is uh, pushing your bolt back in place at half cock ready to uh, place the little deal there that I didn't know the name of and you're just gonna well actually we gotta slide this in first you pump in and you're gonna slide the pump in just right then it's gonna come back to Get this, this thing here. Let's dig down some more. Okay, we're ready. You're going to push it back to half cock and get your bolt at half cock. And you're ready to place that piece back in. Let's drop it in. And lock that back into place. It'll all fall together, just move it around a little bit and you can get it to fall back in place. Then you're going to take your shell stops, place them back in. Place your other shell stop back in. Then lastly, put your trigger group in. Pop that back in. Get your pin, place it back inside, okay we're flush, now you're done with that. Now what I should have done while I was doing it, but I'm just going to go ahead and add a little rim all inside, should have done it while I was in there. but. can't always remember everything what you're doing in the video but this wipe off on the outside um, so once you got that in you're ready for your barrel assembly place your barrel make sure you're you are at half cock place your barrel in Come down, 
screw your magazine, your barrel to your magazine tube. Give it a good tighten. And uh, hope you guys learned something from that video, from this video. And um, thank you guys for watching. And I will see you in the next video.